girl let's get down to the nitty-gritty y'all okay now one thing about jason lee he may tell stories baby but he ain't told no lies honey okay so the gag is girl this video he just did baby if he was not spilling the tea let's get into it girl all those cocky ass publicists who were haters who never return calls all of them trying to figure it out those music executives that sat at the top that thought they sat at the top of something that they did not own now being shuffled around like pieces on a chessboard not knowing where they're gonna get their next meal the industry is shaking right now this industry has made some of y'all think that y'all more powerful than god and what's happening right now now the good lord gave it and then he came and took it all away and i have I have no empathy for any of you. None of you. All y'all bad asses is calm now. Why? Because Diddy got y'all afraid to sit down. Jason Lee went live. And then he doing a little touch. Intimidate you. You know, there's lots of threats and this and this and that. But now y'all are. Y'all badasses is calm now. Why? Because Diddy got y'all afraid to sit down. Diddy is in that box in New York. They they done raided the police commissioner's house in New York City. Because Diddy and a lot of these celebrities pay the police to do their dirty work. Some of these police officers are gang members. So now that Diddy's been indicted and the feds went through his computer and through his phones, they're finding out who's corrupt and they're gonna go get them. And this is gonna be a domino effect. But I'm waiting to see the evidence because I'm trying to see which one of your favorite rappers was over there busting it open. Mm. Do you do you know these? Cele Lord, please just stop me. There will never be another Diddy party. So all of y'all that thought y'all was popping because y'all was at the Diddy party and we all can get in Diddy party, y'all going to jail. Y'all are going to be. <laughs> y'all getting ready to get indicted. Anytime I was at a Diddy party, I was in the backyard. Y'all didn't trust me to let me in the house. Thank you, God, for your protection, keeping me outside. Outside. The industry is shaking right now. Because Diddy parties, if they were being what they said they were, he ain't the only one. If you've lived in L.A. the last 10 years, 15 years, you've heard about parties, parties, parties. And all those parties we're all about how many girls they can get to the parties. And you know what? I know the Wranglers. Y'all know the Wranglers who were sending out them group texts. We all going to the party. We all going to the party. Nope. Wasn't Chris Brown. Nope. Chris Brown, Trey Songs, and all of them used to go to Pleasure P parties back in the day. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta is dropping its first cast album. I'm gonna leave that alone. Let me just shut up. Let me just be quiet. Okay, I, let, let me just really quick promo while I hear. October 5th, Floyd Mayweather's coming to Stockton. Get your tickets. First time ever in Stockton, October 5th, show up. You know, a lot of these celebrities, every single celebrity in the culture has been to Diddy's house which means they've gone through all his phones, text messages. I can read you my text message to Diddy. What day is it airing on the show, on the network? Are you coming on the show? Diddy, what's this? It's all been business for me. It's been business for me. I don't have nothing inappropriate to them people because I don't deal with them like that. So you mean to tell me all those late nights, what you doing, where you at? I've seen Jay-Z at his house. I've seen T.D. Jakes at his house. I've seen Chris Brown at his house. I've seen Jordan Woods at his house. I've seen Travis Scott at his house. Not I've Travis. seen um, Beyonce at his house. Not I've Beyonce. seen I've se Tiana Taylor. At, I've Ooh, seen them all. Baby. Bishop, T.D., what you was doing there? No, he was all in the backyard, but I've seen them all. I've seen Usher there. 
I've seen the baby there. I've seen Justin Bieber there. I've seen everybody's been to a Diddy party. Uh, I've seen Lindsay Lohan, Ashton Kutcher, Demi Moore, Tyrese, Amber Rose. I've seen I'm um, all up in there. Mary That's J. Blige. All the time. All the time. I've seen them all. But just because you go to a Diddy party doesn't mean that you were getting sprayed down with Vaseline and baby oil. Because I can tell you right now, ain't nobody ever sprayed me with nothing. And I don't even play around like that. Let me tell you about me. I am so private with my personal intimacy that I love the fact that my business is private. Anything I've ever made public, I've talked about it on my show. I've been pretty much an open book with the action activities. But I try to conceal the names because I don't want them people bothering them i learned as people started getting to know me they would go track down anybody i'm involved with and then harass them the people i deal with are private people they don't want their business in the streets and we ain't spraying each other down with baby oil i'm just laying here thinking how good god is i wrote a book called god must have forgotten about me and some of y'all thought that was a book about how God didn't have favor over me. But let me tell you something. The God that I serve has always held me down, even when it felt like I was losing, even when it felt like I didn't have nothing, even when it felt like the opportunity that I wanted the most wasn't in arm's reach. He always came through. Music business crumbling, everybody running around trying to figure it out. All those cocky ass publicists who were haters, who never returned calls, all of them trying to figure it out. Those music executives that sat at the top, that thought they sat at the top of something that they did not own, now being shuffled around like pieces on a chessboard, not knowing where they're going to get their next meal. And then Diddy, that whole empire crumbling got a lot of y'all scared because your favorite rapper was sleeping with a 15 year old. But listen, here's the deal. Do people good. Always do people good. Not with bottles of baby oil good. I mean, like, be good to people. Be in the people business. That don't mean you got to be soft. That don't mean you can't be a hard ass. But just be good to people. Always have good intentions. Because I'm going to tell you something. It's a lot of y'all getting ready to reap a lot of the shit that you sold to a lot of people. I'll never forget some of you Ciroc reps who used to be funny with the money, not want to sponsor shit because you thought you was popping because you ran around with the free bottles of Ciroc and, you know, the Beats by Dre headphones and thought y'all was cool. And y'all shitted on a lot of us black business owners or some of you black entrepreneurs who work at music uh, labels who were, you know, passed around by the music execs. And I'm talking about you men passed around. As sex toys, only to become executives and shit on everybody else. You know who you are. I'm not even going to talk about y'all on social media. I'm going to put it in my book, my next book. Why? Because right now you all are reaping what you sowed. You can't be evil and take advantage of people for a long time. And because you got money and power and clout that you think that you are more powerful than God. This industry has made some of y'all think that y'all more powerful than God. Than the whole and what's world. happening right now? The good Lord giveth, and then he came and took it all away. Mm. And I have no empathy for any of you. Mm. None of you. And unless you're a black owner, unless you're a black or brown business owner in this industry, good luck, baby. Because if you burnt bridges, thought you was all that, and they don't own nothing, you in trouble, girl. Mm -mm. Those of you that don't believe that this is possible, the Bible also says warning comes before destruction. Mm. Let this be your warning, baby. Because literally this word just came over me as I was laying here on my couch thinking about what some of y'all going to do for food now. Not for food, baby. The other thing I want to add is that to all you publicists out there that want to be famous, and I'm not talking about the successful ones that built brands that are recognized for being publicists. I'm talking about the publicists that want to be famous. Don't hit me when that fame hits you in the wrong way. Because I have a job to do. 
Just like you have a job to do. Ain't that what some of y'all tell me? Oh, I'm just doing my job. Well, I'm just doing my job. And when your name come across my desk, and sometimes it may be maybe a virtual desk, I'm going to do the Lord's work every time. And please don't call me or text me about this message because I don't even want to talk to nobody right now. <laughs> I'm in, I am in peace. Y'all have been talking about Diddy for so long that you have literally torn at the fabric of my spirit. I don't. Girl, this is a lie. Like I told y'all, girl, Jason was up here. He was not. Baby, let me tell you, on this little speech that Jason did, baby, Jason ate and left no crumbs, honey. Okay? Baby, it's about to be some stuff. It's about to be some stuff, y'all. I got a feeling these internet and celebrity streets are about to be buck wild, girl. Do you hear me? Ooh, child, good. Then he said, I hate to see what some of y'all about to do to uh get y'all next meal. Girl, that was crazy, honey. Let me know what y'all think, y'all.